Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our crochet podcast, episode 48. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers and friends. Thank you for spending this time with me. And hello if you are new and just stopping by for the first time. My name is Krista and this channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. We do tutorials and crochet alongs, this kind of podcasty thing. We also do live chats on Fridays. The community chats are every Friday at 8 a.m. Central and we upload or I upload every weekday at 6 p.m. Central. So if any of that is of interest to you, consider hitting the subscribe button below. We'd love to have you join our community. Also hit the notification bell beside that so you don't miss any of the fun, especially when I go live. Finished objects. I wish I had more, I don't. I still need to do my three rows on this. I have not actually worked on it because it looks pretty great sitting here. And I've been doing some tutorial-y things such as my cute, cute, cute two hour slippers. So these are made with one strand of like blanket yarn or chenille or velvet and one strand of acrylic, just using them both at the same time. And you get a really great texture, plus it's super squishy. So that whole problem of crochet slippers being like bumpy underneath your feet doesn't happen because it's all squishy from the blanket yarn or the chenille or the velvet. So those are really great. They work up super fast. I call them two hour slippers just to be nice because I don't want people like stressing out that they didn't do it in the same time that I did. These take me about 20, 25 minutes per slipper. So. That's nice, house alarm, great. It's the neighbors, they do it all the time. I'll just pose. Aren't they great? I have been wanting to wear them the whole time, but I didn't want them to look all gross and dirty when I was showing you, so I'm showing you now. They're great. So this is a tutorial up, it's right-handed and left-handed. Really? That is so weak. Okay, so my two hour slippers, super fabulous, super great. You can just make them shorter if you want more of like, like for kids, you can just stop sooner or make them longer to fit a larger shoe. They do stretch quite a bit. Uh, so do actually make them to fit your foot because you'll start, they'll start like flipping off of your feet in the future. So I made those snug for my little feet. Yeah, exactly. And they're fabulous. They're so cute. Like I'd show you how cute they are, but I know I love them. You have to make some. You can also just make them with two strands of acrylic. I've done that a million times, especially, well not a million, but several times, especially for my kids like to take to school for their school slippers because they don't need to be walking on, you know, chenille velvet blanket yarn around school or in the playground or whatever, but good old acrylic fabulous they last like crazy and you get one pair from two balls of yarn so uh, like one ball of the acrylic and one ball of the blanket makes one pair of slippers plus a bit left over and also the cute little flower one of my students made a dragonfly i can't really say student i didn't teach her how to do it i taught her how to crochet but she went ahead and learned how to make a dragonfly so one of her slippers has a dragonfly and the other one has something small on it. But I'm like, why didn't I think of that? So if I ever figure out how to do dragonflies, Haley, put one on. They're, it's amazing, they're so cute. So those are my slippers, a finished object, thank you. And I'm also working on snowballs. Ha! So these are like my holiday accordion balls, but made in white. And I also have some yellow snow. <laughs> my goal is to have a whole bunch for Christmas, like a bucket of snowballs, because my kids have never seen snow and had a snowball fight. But I also wanted to put in some yellow snow just so when they do see snow, uh, they can, you know, you'll, they'll avoid the yellow snow. So I was thinking of having like a points system for the snowball fight where you know, like if you get hit with a yellow snowball then like it's extra points for whoever threw it or like something like that because like how fun would that be 
so not too many have yellow on them. I just used some yellow scraps for one of the layers. So there is a couple yellow snowballs mixed in, but I've only done, what, four, six, I've done eight so far. And I've used different hooks, but a tutorial is coming out, I think on Thursday, to show you how I made those ones. There's no stuffing, they're just solid, not solid, they're super squishy and everything, but you can like mold them a bit like you can a snowball. They're really, really cool. Anyway, this is coming out on Thursday, touch wood, stars align, ooh, hope for it. That's it for finished objects, I know. So my Twiggy dress, meet, 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 meet. My Twiggy dress, I was even gonna wear it and like show you guys how cute it is, but I have to do the ends and I haven't done it yet, so there's always next week, right? But isn't it adorable? Like I'm so impressed by it. It fits, it's very, it's very cool, I dig it. So I'm calling that my Twiggy dress. She was a model in the 60s, if anybody doesn't know, Haley. So question of the day, have you subscribed to the channel? I know some of you haven't, and I know lots of you have, which I love, it's so great connecting with you. So if you have subscribed, type friends in the comments box below. Yay. So whips. Yes, whips. I don't have too many. I'm feeling like I don't have too many, although I do have a lot. But I'm not actually working on them. It's kind of like a UFO collection, which I'm totally fine with. So I am working on snowballs because I want, you know, like a bunch. I have four children and my husband's quite good at throwing balls around. So I want a lot of them. I'm even thinking of giving them to my husband for Christmas so he can like smack them at the kids because it would just be hilarious. But anyway, I need a lot of snowballs. I've done two balls of white yarn so far and I have eight. So I guess I'm getting about four snowballs per ball of yarn. So I just take a ball of yarn when I go to bed and hopefully I don't have yarn when I wake up in the morning or when I wake up the second time. <laughs> so I've been working on that. I'm also should be working on putting my three last rows onto my glam blanket, but I haven't done it yet, but I will. So I am working on it, I suppose. I would be working on it. I should be working on it. It's not a UFO, but I'm not actively hooking on it. That's okay, right? Those are my whips. So question and point of interest, where is everybody from? I would love to know where you're watching from. So leave like your uh, city and state or country or city and country in the comments box below. I would love to know where you are watching from. And point of interest, where most of you are, have been watching from in the past year, not that interesting, right? Can't see it much. Very fit, pale world map down here. So where is everybody from? 62% are from the United States of America and 8.4% from the UK. Hello, United Kingdom. 5.0% from Canada. Yay, represent. I'm Canadian, that's why I get to cheer extra for Canada. 3.2% from Australia, that is going up. So thank you, Jen, for sharing the channel and the rest of my Australian friends watching from down under, thank you. India, 1.1%, and then we jump down to 0.6% from Germany, 0.8% from Netherlands, 0.6% from South Africa, hi Alice. Indonesia, Egypt, Greece, Malaysia, Mexico, Spain, Italy, Turkey, Brazil, 0.2%. Soon to be a smudge more because our dear friend Clara is moving back. France, Philippines, Ireland, Kenya, 0.2% also. Thank you, my fellow Kenyans who are watching. That's amazing and great. Kenya didn't even rate on the, on the first page of this a, a while ago. And Romania, also 0.2%. So thank you so much, everybody, who has been watching from all over the world. And where are you watching from? Leave your location in the comments box below. I would love to know it. And I'm sure the rest of our community would love to know. Also, you can find out who is hooking in your neighborhood. And wouldn't that be so cool to know? So thank you so much for your comments. I appreciate it. And is that it for crochet goodness? I do think it is. Yay! So moving on to 
news updates of the week. I managed to clean the yarnery, and I'm putting quotation marks on clean the yarnery because I pretty much ended up putting about four boxes of stuff. I'm not even going to say junk. It's like balls of yarn and like papers and weird things that I don't have a home for right now. Literally ee, just in my hallway. I did. I, I, I cracked. I had crochet class on Saturday and I did my best to get everything put away. And then I was like, Ugh, I'm just going to pack it up. So I kind of packed it up. I more stacked it up. I'll just tell you the truth. But the yarnery looks great and I took you on a little tour. So check that out. It is a rainy day, but I want to give you a tour of the yarnery before it gets messy. Outside. That is my puppy. Look how big she is now. Anyway. Let me show you my wall of yarn that I love. Finished objects up top. Whips, don't judge. Scrap yarn over there with some extra balls. Can't have enough. Where I sit to talk to you guys. All my favorite things that I love. Granny square dress that I also love. It turned out really cool. And through here, so my mandala stools. And on the other side, another loo with another mandala stool. This one only fits one stool. So those are my, my loos. And on this side of the door, more yarn. So the bottom two shelves are acrylic and self-striping DK and gumball textures, wool twister, metallics, all along in there. And this is wool up top, textured wool. That is alpaca shine that I love. Chenille super great squishy yarns, eyelashes, textured wool, that's a wool blend in those three colors, and then textures here, which would be great. And this is cotton here. This cotton is gonna move over to the other side with the other cotton, but not yet. Melted granny chair, and this is where I sit to do my filming, and this is where I hide my filming gear, in my little cubby over there. My kitchen island, which is now storage and lovely notions of all my favorite things. Clover, etc. My grandma's lamp. Okay, well, first, my stan wood. Everybody needs a stan wood, I'm just saying. This is great. My grandma's lamp. Let me show you under how cool that is. It had an old satin lampshade that was torn, so I tore off the rest of the satin and put on Granny Square lampshade. My TV with more storage under here. Packaging materials. Hello. And Sedai. Hi, Sedai. He hangs out on top of my TV. Boxing Granny and things for the giveaways. And finished objects is under here. I have like my bags and stuff in there. Things that I have finished. And delicious candies from Brazil. Don't tell anybody. Especially my children. <laughs> and then this is my kitchen area. That's another giveaway. Hi Cindy, that's yours. And my little kitchen area. And that is 12 Days of Christmas giveaway right there. There is bags behind. I can reach up and up. Anyway, there's 12 bags in there full of goodness all ready to go for the giveaway. And then here's my little kitchen area where we make our tea. And this is Wicked Whisk Nairobi's cotton candy machine because we're having a bit of a party today. A little farewell last class kind of party. And then this is outside. It's a rainy day. Can you imagine? So this is our outside seating area where we also can sit outside when it is, it's still warm. Let me find the temperature. I have it on this other side. Outside, can we see it? So it is 18 degrees or whatever that would be, 62. 
Is that 62? No. 65? 64? I don't know. It doesn't feel cold. I'm not sure where my Rottweiler is with the broken leg or broken shoulder. Not broken, sore. His sore shoulder. And then into the yarnery. Isn't it grand? I do love it so. Except Scarella. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the tour. So I was super happy I got all of that done. I love it, it's super comfortable in here and it's a bit back to being a bit lived in, not too bad, but it's a, such a great space and I am really glad I took the time to like move everything around and clean everything out and get things put back in a very like organized way. It feels great to be in here, so I really do like that. It was worth it even though it was like two and a half weeks of upheaval. I'm okay with it. So moved on into Christmas preparations and started thinking of like my cooking I want to do and my recipes and things like that. And then started out randomly with uh, Greek cheese pies. As you do, because I was like, I've wanted them for so long, like proper ones. Oh, dang, they're good. They're so good. I'm salivating. That's how good they are. I made extra, there's some in the freezer, I'm thawing some out, I'm on like two a day, and by two a day it's like half a kilo, like oh my gosh, they're just delicious, so I will make one and share it with Kavita uh, for Friday's live chat, if you want to join us for that, it's so delicious. So I made those, I made some spinach pies as well, spanakopita, and that's as far as I've gotten. I want to make light fruit cake but I don't get the fruit mix stuff here, but I have dried apricots and some dried fruit. So I think if I was to dice them up myself, would that would count as dried fruit? Because it's dried fruit. It's just more of a pain in the butt, right? No dried maraschino cherries. So there won't be the cute little red bits inside. Plus, is it too late to make it now? Because I think you're supposed to make it like so that it's dry by the time Christmas rolls around. I don't know, but I'd like to do it. I haven't started it and I might not get around to it, but I was thinking about it, and until then I'm eating cheese pie. <sighs> so good. Question of the day, what is your go-to must-have, must-make Christmas recipe? I would love to know what it is or just the whole recipe if you're one of the people that are willing to share. I know some people are like, they're not into sharing their recipes. I'm all about sharing. So if you're all about sharing, I'd love to read your recipe in the comments below or you can also email me, secretyarnery at gmail.com. That would be really cool. We could even do like a recipe exchange. We could like compile a whole bunch of recipes and then share it. If you're interested in doing that, totally send me your favorite uh, recipe. You can just email me, I suppose, secretyarnery at gmail.com and we can put together a little recipe collection to add to year after year and also share with each other. So that's a cool idea. I'm totally into doing it. It's that time again, 12 days of Christmas giveaway, yay! So for the 12 videos I put up before Christmas, more if you're including the left-handed versions, I am including a giveaway tucked into the middle. So the title doesn't say giveaway and there's nothing in the description about giveaway, but for my fellow friends and subscribers and you, you're gonna know it's a giveaway and you can also enter and increase your odds of winning. So I'm doing a small little giveaway every in every video of my 12 videos before Christmas. Love it, I hope you're enjoying it also. If you haven't gone to see the other ones, just go through the videos and there'll be ones with 12 days of Christmas, little holly and a cute little, I think it's a TV screen I put on there, but there's a little hint that they are part of the 12 days of Christmas. So check out those videos and answer the question of in the video at, in the comments below. You can enter as many times as you want. The trick is you need to be a subscriber, you need to be like a part of the community because I would like to give things to my subscribers and community members. Yay, can't wait for it. So today's giveaway, Ooh, it's hooktastic. Oh, you guys are lucky today. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm a sucker for colors. It is my favorite clover crochet hook, eight millimeter, and a 3.5 millimeter tulip, and a seven millimeter tulip, just the regular plastic hook. So you can try all my favorite brands and see which hook you like the best. Yay! I am also sending you and each giveaway, I'm not showing it in every giveaway, but 
I am also sending you two of my cute stickers. Two of my favorite tea, Caricho Gold. Plain old black tea, none of this orange pico stuff, literally black tea, boom, right there. And my ginger tea. And my spiced tea. This is also Caricho Gold, this one. So you're getting all of that and three crochet hooks in the giveaway. So what do you have to do to win the giveaway? Be a subscriber and answer the question of the day, which is what is your favorite holiday recipe? If, so just leave that in the comments box below. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel. And if you wanna send me your recipe to be part of the shared recipes, the shared yarnery holiday recipe collection, you could just email me at secretyarnery at gmail.com. So thank you so much for being part of the community and a subscriber of this channel. So good luck, I hope you win. So that's about all I have for crochet goodness this time. So the video clip out and about after this is me with my son, my six year old he just turned. He's quite a talker. He has all these big plans. He always wants a helicopter. He always wants to go out for dinner. He always has, his want list does not stop. It is impressive and he's very consistent. So it is a video of me, we're driving back from town I think and then You'll see what happens at the end. I want go go samurai. We're not watching TV. We finished court and we're going to Mama's camera shop. We're downtown. Yeah. Where's Dad? Dad's gone. We just dropped Dad. What? So now Mommy gets to go do her work. Mama, did... Mama doesn't know how to do his work. <laughs> yep. Mommy she doesn't. Mommy knows how to do some work. She does. What work do I Mom, do? put it down here so no, I No, you're not supposed to be on the camera so much. I have to block you off and I don't want to. What's your name? Oliver. Oliver what? Oliver Patel. That's right. And I have a camera. haircut. And you have a haircut, yeah. You're very cute. So we're gonna go to the camera shop. And of course I did not bring my money because we were going to court. Not really a shopping trip. So I'm just gonna go window shop. My dad's here. Oh, boy. You saw my dad's here? Oh, Mom, look. What? What? Shops. Cars. Yeah. Cars, shops, cars, shops, and cars. Yeah. Okay. We're downtown. Coca Cola Ninja truck. Ninja go. We're not watching Ninja Go. Okay. Statue Dad was telling us about. I dig the outfits. I like the socks. They're cool. I have no idea what song he's singing. Policia, Policia. What song are you singing? Oh, it's a Western Union, that's why. Oh, when did you go to Western Union? Is this guy parked or what? What song are you singing, Oliver? Casey Undercover. Hmm? Casey Undercover. Case and Casey Undercover? Yeah. Is that a show? Yeah. Oh, when did you go to you? No one's outside you. Turn up, buddy, turn up, buddy. I'm just perfect. Make things bad. No, you're going to hide commissions down here? Did not know that. This is my shop. Oh, look, somebody's even pulling out for us. Yeah, it's right here. Universal Gift Center. I think this guy's leaving. That was so exciting, I forgot to film it. I'm not even joking. They have so much stuff in there, it's crazy. Like I have so many things I want. Yep. <laughs> now we're going home. We're not going safari walk, we're gonna go home. Then we're gonna play Call of Duty. No, we're not gonna play Call of Duty. 
We are going to let's see if I can zoom in and smudge. Swimming. No. Ooh. We cool. are going to do school, that's right. Still a school day. They have lighting, they have sound, they have lapel mics, Sennheiser lapel mics instead of the microphone one. Uh, wireless, so you have like the battery pack and, <laughs> and you don't have the wire. I'm like, I will so be into that. They have cables for my microphone to make it longer. They have lighting, they have a lighting stand. Love it. Anyway, it was a mecca. I was so excited in there camera bag so I can keep all of my camera and lenses together. They have another lens I want. Everything I want is so expensive. It's a problem. Oh well, Christmas list continues. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, still driving. Bye. It is not Christmas <laughs> tomorrow. It is November 15th. So you have one month and 10 days. Then it's, then it's Christmas. Then it's Christmas. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. And I have a wiggly chute. You do? How wiggly? Which one's wiggly? Uh, In there. Uh huh. Can you see me? Uh, yeah. Where? Here. <laughs> Okay. I need to go to the dentist. Oh, you like the dentist? Yeah. Can you drop me them? No. Why would I drop you? Yeah, because I need it. I need it out. I need... You want the tooth fairy to come? Is that what you're saying? No, the dentist. Yeah, but then why do you want your teeth out? Not a lot of tooth. Not one hundred. This one. Oh, you only want one tooth out. Mm -hmm. And then what are you gonna do with your one tooth? Put it on the, under my bed. And what's gonna happen when you put it under your bed? The tooth fairy. So is that what you want? Yeah. You want the tooth fairy to come? How much money does the tooth fairy give you? One hundred. 
$100. Your tooth fairy gives you $100? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow, then I'd totally be going to the dentist too. So drop me there. Well, I can't drop you. How are you going to get home? Um, How are you going to get home? Just stay with me and I will now show you. Oh, so you want me to not drop you. Yeah. You want me to take you and stay with you. Is that right? Yeah, can we sit there? No, you're not going to sit there. We're in the boot. I don't know why. It's oh, because we jumped in after the camera shop. Yeah. I should have just jumped in the front seat. What was I thinking? No. Why? I want to tear you sit behind me. Uh, no, but thanks anyway. Yep. Nope. That ain't happening. No kids in the front. Mom? What? Nate, wait, not you. Oh. You thought of something and now you forgot it? Yeah, I, yes, I, I now, I now, now. What? I, I, never mind. I think you're excited. I'm trying to. and show you from the window from outside. Yeah. Wasn't I'm not it? A, yeah. I'm not gonna scream. Okay. I'm not gonna scream. Okay, that'd be great. Oh, I'm not gonna scream. Great. Let me scream. You're gonna take me out? You're not gonna scream. Okay. Now I'm not gonna scream. You're not gonna scream. Yeah, I'm not gonna scream. So okay. I'll tell you. So we I know the way. I know the way. You know the way to the dentist? Yeah. You probably do. It's this way. You turn around. Uh -huh. You go this way. Bougainvillea. Punch tuk tuk. You saw a tuk tuk? Yep. We do punch tuk tuk instead of punch tuk tuk. But she wrote, this is the way to the dentist. <laughs> this is the way. I know this is the driver. This way is not the driver. This way. You yep. go this way. You know. You know the way. You go this way. Yep. You go this way? And then? Then that way? Then which way? Then? Right or left? You go to right. You show me. You go to around a circle. But this isn't this, this isn't really. This way. You go to which, left. Yeah, that's right, to the left. You go this way. Yeah. Then you go that way. Coffee filter home. Then they were sold out Mom. last time. Oh, right, sorry. Then you go this way, turn around. We turn which way? To the turn what? Around, turn to around, the? Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Is this the right way, Oliver? Turn around. Yes or no? Yes. Now you drive fast. <laughs> fast. No, why am why I'm saying fat? You're not saying fat, you're saying fast. But you're not saying fast to. Fast. Right. We need to go fast or we can go to the dentist. We're going very fast. We need to go check my tooth. Your tooth is fine. It's going to fall out when it's ready. Do you remember? It's going to fall like this. Ooh. When it's ready. Remember the last member, Mir, helped you? It was like, pop. Pop. Oh. Yeah. He was like, hold on, Ollie, look up. And then there, your tooth was out. Do you remember that? Yeah. Mir was very good at that. Let's go to the left, not right, because there's a lot of cars. You will bang. 
Yeah, we stay on the left side stay of the road. Left. That's correct. You saw another tuk tuk? Yep. Oh wow, you're good. You go this way. Turn around slowly. Approaching an embassy, so I will divert. There's the sign. Look on the side. Plants for sale. Christmas. You saw Christmas? Yeah, look. Where? Oh, yeah, the billboard. Good eye, good eye. Merry Christmas. That's Santa Claus. Was it? Yeah. Look at all this nice land in there. Mom, how old is Santa Claus? Don't know, but I'm sure that's a good thing to Google. 50. He's 50. I'm almost 50. He has to be older than me. One, two, three, four, five, six. How old are you? Older than 50. Santa Claus is 50. Really? Yeah. Wow. Should we... You go this way? Well, that's an alarming brake pattern. No. Now you wait. Mom, can we go to the dentist? We're not going to go to the dentist. <laughs> Don't. Uh, uh, Stop oh, it. Good. I was just blocking your eyes. Why? So I could film your face. Look, now I can film your face. Oh, you're so cute, Oliver. You're so cute. I am cute. You are cute. Okay, bye. Hey. Hey. You don't eat at the brook at the dentist. What are we gonna have for lunch? Hmm. Look at that nice sign for KFC. I hope we have KFC for lunch. KFC. KFC. Yummy. You like KFC or no? Say yes. A little bit yes, but I don't like the bet green ones. What is their green at KFC? I think you haven't been to KFC for so long, I don't remember. We have not been to KFC since when? When's the last time we went to KFC? Years. We went Garden City used to be slamming. And Teresa was here. So you were, that was three years ago. So say two years ago. I was three. You were three. Now I'm five. I'm six. You now you're six. I'm six. Six. Four, five, six, six, seven, seven, nine, you copy. Oh. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eight, you copy. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. Ah, uh, stop 16, it. <laughs> Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-one. 32. Are you talking to me? 32. 32. 32. 32. 33. 34. 34. 35. 36. 37. 38. 39. 40. 40. 41. 42. 42. We're going to puke again. You're not going to puke again. We're in a no film When zone. we go far? We're not going far. We did puke. I did down puke. there on the way on the way almost out of the no field zone down the way, down the way. one more big bump Roop. boom out of the no field zone Ollie, that was your first restaurant. Huh? Yeah, that was your first restaurant. I, how old I say? You were three. No, no. And you liked the rice. You liked the plain rice and you ate like four bowls of it. You were a good eater, Ollie. Straight up. You almost 
helped me. Huh? How old are you there? How old you are were three. You? No. How old are you there now? Now you're six. Now I'm six? Yeah. How old are you? In the old house. Old house, you were three and you were four. Oh. New house, you were five and you were six. Now I'm six. Now you're six. What's, what are you going to be next time? Seven. Seven. Next time, I'm going to be one, two, three, four, five, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine. And then you're going to stop, so you stay then, mama's baby forever. Then ten, then eleven, then twelve, then thirteen, then fourteen, then fifteen, then sixteen, then seventeen. Then I'm going to pop, then I'm going to be a baby. What? How are you going to pop and be a baby? What is this guy doing? Right? So that was when I was showing you my son's feet and everything. I guess the security, we drove past the security truck and I guess they thought I might be filming the other side of the road or not my son's feet, of which I was. You are not allowed to film embassies, which I totally respect. I think that's fine. And there's some other public buildings that have it marked that there's no photography. Children's hospital. That's fine. If you just say there's no filming, there's no filming. But the rest of the road is totally up for grabs and totally fine to share with you. So that was my day. Yikes, dude. Anyway, they were super nice about it. I showed them my uh, phone, I showed them the video, and I got to the part where we went past the embassies, and they were all quite official, like, oh, you filmed, da, da, da. and I was like, no, like, you know, I, sh I showed my son's feet, and they didn't even watch the whole thing, they just saw that I was, like, literally, like, showing the bottom of my car, and they handed my phone back and said, like, oh, thank you very much, have a great day, you know, apologies, and I was like, oh, thank you very much. But it was a bit like being caught by the principal, right? I was like, ah, what? A, like, what? Never happened in my life. Anyway, mental note to self. Just show them you didn't film it. You're good to go. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you Friday for a live chat and tomorrow for a tutorial. Snowball time. Stay hooked. Forty-eight, forty-eight. Okay, I'm sitting on my glasses. The live chats are every Friday at 6 a.m. Central. Eee, sorry about that. No, 8 a.m. Central. Also hit the notification bell beside that so you don't miss, uh, yeah. Don't start me. Don't play, playa. <laughs> There, that was my Zelda. That's as good as I get. <laughs> I hope it worked. Yes, runner.